How to make VHS effect in CapCut. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video has helped you out, please let me know in the comments or simply just leave a like so I actually know that this video has helped you out. So before we actually get started, we need to modify two default settings inside of CapCut. So over here on the right, we can see the aspect ratio as well as the frame rate. Now we we need to modify those by clicking on modify. The aspect ratio has to be set to four by three and the frame rate to 24. Now that is because VHS cameras shoot in this aspect ratio as well as this FPS. So simply click on save. Now I've imported some stock footage. Since this is a resolution of 16 by nine, we need to scale this up to 133%. So it fits the four by three resolution. Now we can get to the effects. The very first effect is DV tape. You have to search for this and simply click on the plus icon. We need to drag this all the way across uh, to the end of our footage. Uh, we have to do that for every single effect, by the way. And I'm going to put all of these settings to zero. What this effect does is add this glitching thing at the bottom, as you can see. So that's what we need. Our next effect is Retro DV3. This can be found in the Retro section. Then put the settings to 0 and 50. This will add these weird, like these white and uh, green thing at the top. Our next effect is Jitter. This can be found in the TV section. Put the settings between 7 and 13. This will pretty much add a shake, which will make your footage go up and down. Our next effect is oblique blur. This can be found in the opening and closing section about in the middle. Put the blur between 18 and 23 and then rotate to zero. This will kind of add a blur, which kind of like widens everything, as you can see. Our next effect is strong sharpen. This can be found in the retro section. Put it to 50, 150. This will add a, a lot of sharpening, as you can see, and a little bit of chromatic uh, aberration. Um, it might look too much, but we will tone this down later. Our next effect is blur. This can be found in the lens section. You can put the blur between three and six. As you can see, this has already toned down the sharpening a lot. Our next effect is noise. This can be found in the TV section. Put this between seven and 13. It's kind of up to you. Uh, this just adds a little bit of noise, a small detail. Now, our last effect is optional, and that is by adding an overlay on top of everything. Now, I will leave this overlay uh, in the link um, of this description, where you can download this overlay if you would like to. So what you want to do is scale this up to 133% again, then go to blend over here, where it says, oh, whoops, where it says mode, Put this to multiply. This will remove the white uh, and keep the black from the overlay. So then we can simply press Control C, go all the way at the end of our footage, press Control V, and then here again, Control V, and then make it a little bit smaller. And now we have added our last overlay. Then the very, very last thing which you can do is to spice up your footage is by adding a filter or color correction. So I went to uh, filters and searched for VHS. I found this retro one over here, which I added. Now this is a little bit too much, but usually old VHS footage is always a little bit more warm in color. So what you can do is drag this one down to about 30%. And then see, it makes your footage a little bit more warm, which gives a nice touch. So that is pretty much it. That is how to make VHS effect in CapCut.